Deborah S. Phelps, the Education Foundation of Baltimore County Public Schools, Executive Director. I, I'm an educator at heart. When the era that I was, I was raised in and, and grew up in, we were either nurses, educators, or teachers. I love teaching children. I love their, their excitement of learning. But I'm also a mother, a mother of three children. Um, Hillary, Iron Man Lake Placid. Whitney, Baltimore Marathon and Tough Mudder. And then we have Michael Phelps' favorite son. <laughs> and of course, you know about Michael, who is a five-time Olympic, Olympian champion, world record holder, etc. You know, when I look back on my schoolhouse and my home in which I raised my children, there were a lot of parallels. We had to have teamwork and kids, my, my, my kids knew that, the three at home and my 600 kids knew that in the school. We have to work together. We have to have strong values. Um, teaching determination, respect, responsibility was something that I made sure that was an ongoing theme in the, the home with the three children. You know, one, one thing in reference to my memoir, Mother Fall Seasons, was to go back to my roots as to where I was born and where I was raised. Uh, born in West Virginia, lived in Western Port, Maryland. I thought it was the greatest place in the world. Um, my father was a blue-collar worker. My mother did not go to college. She gave up a, a, a scholarship at Peabody to raise four children. That's where I think I get a lot of my values being a mother and raising my children personally as well as my school. But it's looking back now as to the values that my mom and dad taught myself and my sisters and brother in the home and the realization that I did not realize how poor we were. And when I relate that to the poverty that are in our schools today, I, I, can, I can apply, I can think about, you know, what I was surrounded with growing up and to just envision what our children go through today, whether they're homeless or whether it is um, a free and reduced meal child whose parents just don't have enough money to survive from day to day. I, I really, I embrace that with open heart. I think one of the most dear to my heart stories, you know, when I came in in, in, in 2012, my board members scored all the grants. Well, that's different now. But there was one grant that they weren't going to accept. And I'm like, why didn't you accept this grant? And they said, it's a field trip. And I said, but it's a field trip to take students in one of our most needy schools in Baltimore County to Philadelphia. And I said, let me give you some facts on that school. And that's one thing I feel that I brought to the table as executive director. I knew education. I know education. And I knew the district. And after I gave them the story behind it, they're like, okay, Debbie, we will award that grant. I said, thank you very much. A few months later, I went to that school and I was serving as a career speaker to that same class. And when I went in to talk to them, they told me about going to Philadelphia and what an impact it made. And I said, how much did that trip cost you? And one little boy in the back who could not sit still, who was up and down during my whole presentation, he went, nothing, Miss Phelps. It cost us nothing because we were good and we got good grades. And that was my springboard to be able to share with those fifth graders what I do to be able to impact that school and the other schools in Baltimore County. And when I talk to them about, did you ride on the big coach bus? Did you see the Liberty Bell? Did you have lunch and breakfast? Were there TV screens in the bus? Those kids had never experienced that before. And to have them put, see what $2,000 was able to award each one of those children and their parents Many of those parents who have never been outside their community either. It really warmed my heart.